but I can't say I was pleasantly surprised with Mahogany Bay. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Travel Life Mama. I am sitting in my car because I am working right now while I'm doing my deliveries. But in between deliveries, I thought I would do the review with you guys of the Port of Mahogany Bay on our cruise with the Carnival Spirit. Um, so Mahogany Bay is Carnival's personal uh, port in uh, Roatan, Honduras. We were lucky this trip we were the only ship in port at the time and i had never been to mahogany bay before i've heard some mixed reviews from people of how they liked it so i wasn't quite sure what to expect but i can say i was pleasantly surprised with mahogany bay i actually really enjoyed it so it, it parks right at the dock you're able to get right off and right when you get off of course there's always uh, some dancers and people in costume wanting to take your picture same as any other typical cruise port. So then you walk down the pier and you'll enter the square where it has all the shops and restaurants and places where you can catch uh, your tours or taxis or rent cars. There's all of that all from this central area. Then you're going to see signs for the beach. The beach is to the right when you start when you come off the pier so head to the right if you're going to go to the beach and to catch the chairlift to the beach now my personal opinion on the chairlift to the beach for us it's not worth it it's about a 15 to 20 minute walk to get to the beach but it's nice because it's very shaded because you're covered in the canopy of the trees if you take the chairlift just be warned there is no shade for you. You are in full sun. The chairlift moves very slow, so it's actually quicker to walk than it is to take the chairlift. And if the chairlift stops for any reason, you're in full sun. So make sure you are very covered and make sure you have a lot of sunscreen on if you're taking the chairlift. So on the way to the beach, it's not bad because it is a decline. You are going downhill, but on the way back it is an uphill climb not too steep but you can feel the incline for sure so if you have issues with uh inclines then it's probably best for you to take the chairlift back to the boat now the chairlift is 14 dollars, whether you're only taking it one way or both ways so if you're paying the 14 dollars to take the chairlift back you might as well like you might as well take it there too because there's no like special price for just one way it's 14 dollars, and you get to ride all day and that's it so my family and i we walked through the beautiful trail of the jungle down to the beach there's tons of spots uh, off to the side where you can like look at the boat and they have little spots for like photo moments with the big mahogany beach sign and everything and a nice photo spot that has the ship in the background and then you get to the beach now as soon as you get to the beach people are going to come up to you oh come with me come with me well I'll get you a chair with an umbrella and of course those are you're gonna have to pay for those clamshells you're gonna have to pay for those so just remember they're offering but you're paying as well there are plenty of free chairs that you do not have to pay for on Mahogany Bay I initially was actually going to get a clamshell because when I'm on the beach, I like to have the option for shade. And some of the other beaches I've been to, there's no shade. So I was fully prepared to pay for a clamshell. But when I got to the beach, I realized that there is tons, tons of shade on Mahogany Bay in the free chairs. There's so many palm trees. There's so many trees to give you shade. You do not need to pay for a clamshell if you want shade there's tons of shade with the free chairs uh which i was pleasantly surprised so we actually walked to the further part of the beach um just because we figured it would be less busy in that area once everybody started getting off the boat so we were near the massage hut and we were near the massage hut and we were near where the cabanas are 
and we got nice four chairs in the shade and we immediately went into the water. Now, one thing to be warned about Mahogany Bay right now is as of filming this, which is no December of 2022, is there's been some erosion to the beach because of storms. So as you're going into the beach, it's nice and sandy, it's beautiful water. But as you're going into the beach, there's going to be a little bit of a hill on the shoreline that you have to go down. But when you're in the water, be warned because it is very, it's a very steep decline into the water and it is deep. So just be warned especially with your children and everything that it will drop off quickly and it will be deep. It was pretty much over my head. Um, wasn't over my son's head, but you know, they're six feet, but it was over my head. I'm five foot five. Um, and then if you go past the deep water a little bit, then you'll hit a sandbar where it's shallow again. So watch your little ones, watch anybody who is not a great swimmer. It drops off very quickly right now because of the storms. Be warned about that. So, after we claimed our chairs, I decided to go check out the rentals booth and see what the prices are for some of the rentals because I saw these big circular floaty things and I thought the boys would have a lot of fun. I guess they are big four person uh, hammocks, but they're circles, but they're called like sea hammocks. So I rented one of those and I rented a blue float, which was six. So it was $6 for the blue floating mat and it was $30 I believe for the hammock which is cheaper than the $80 I was planning on spending on the clamshell excursion so we actually saved money but the I find the rental prices in Mahogany Bay are very reasonable for the mats for the hammocks for the clamshells themselves just a clamshell I believe was like $25 for the snorkel gear snorkel gear very reasonable they took cash they took credit so it was very easy one thing though so we rented the sea hammock and because we were all the way on the other side of the beach i thought that they would kind of deliver it to us no no they didn't i had to swim it swim it from the rental shack which is on the other side of the beach all the way over to where we were it was a good swim i got my exercise that day it was an easy swim but be warned, they're not going to deliver it to you. You're going to have to bring it over yourself to wherever you are on the beach. So um, I was looking forward to doing some snorkeling on Mahogany Bay. But in the closed off swimming area, the, the snorkeling wasn't great. The visibility wasn't very good. Mind you, this day was windy and it was pretty wavy. There is a snorkel, snorkel area along the pier so once you pass the cabana area on the beach there is a long pier with a lifeguard at the end that's like the snorkel area that's where people go snorkeling um i didn't go snorkeling because it was a very choppy day and i knew that the visibility wasn't going to be great so i decided to just spend the day relaxing on the beach i didn't go snorkeling outside of the swimming area so i couldn't really see anything so after spending a while in the water we decided to get some food so there's quite a few restaurants right off the beach which is awesome they come right down to you we ordered from one of the restaurants on the beach and we got um nachos and i think i got the boys some quesadillas the nachos were massive, massive nachos. All four of us ate off the nachos. Um, and the quesadillas were really good. The nachos were really, really good. My husband ordered a pina colada. He said it's one of the best pina coladas he's ever had. He said it was so creamy. It was so good. So highly recommend the pina coladas on Mahogany Bay. So after we were done relaxing, we decided to go explore the restaurants and see what other activities there are um, at the beach. So like I said, there's quite a few restaurants. If you go all the way down to the end of the path, you'll see like there's this private area called the getaway and there's a nice restaurant there. There's music, there's like games, there's stuff to do. It's really cool down there. And you'll see along, there's tons of stuff to do. There's like cornhole, there's big chest, there was um, t tons of little tables and little nooks that you could sit in and eat in. Lots of bar, like lots of places to get a drink. 
Uh, there was the those little fish things where the fish like eat all the dead skin off of your feet. There was the massage hut. There was tons of stuff to do just even at the beach area. I was actually really impressed. Lots of cool little um, sculptures like they had turtles and stuff all over the place. There are locker rentals. So if you need to rent a locker at the beach, there are locker rentals available. And there is tons of freshwater showers to get all the salt water off of you. Okay, so change of scenery. I'm home now. I'm done my shift. I'm just cuddling with Georgie and Charles here. And we cut my cat Jinx here, right here, too. She's cuddling with us. So, yeah. So, Mahogany Bay has tons of lockers and showers all over the place for you to get cleaned up after you're swimming and lots of places to get food. There is a private area on Mahogany Beach called the Blue Lagoon, which you do have to pay to go in. And it's the beach that's facing the cruise ship. Uh, for me personally, I don't think the Blue Lagoon would be worth it to me because the beach area was so small. I, I don't think I personally would pay for the Blue Lagoon, but the area seemed to have like some nice like day beds and cabins and it was private, but there wasn't anybody in there, I think, when we were there. So after uh, we explored the island, we did the walk back up to the ship and the walk to the ship is beautiful. Like there's so much foliage and flowers and trees and it's just a really, really nice walk. Um, as you, we pass over the bridge, you can see where people can rent like uh, kayaks and sea bikes. And there's like a little channel, um, calm channel where you can kayak and stuff like that. And it's just really nice. And then as you get up into the port, that's where you have like your uh, souvenir shops and your pharmacies and your drink shops and you know all the typical things that are at a cruise port of course we went and got our magnet we always get a magnet at all of the cruise ports um and it was just a really nice day at mahogany bay i was pleasantly surprised i was really i had a good time at mahogany bay and i'm pretty sure i'll be going back there again so yeah i hope you enjoyed my little review of mahogany bay make sure you stay tuned for the next video and i'll show you guys when we go to explore some of the Mayan ruins in Belize. So again, make sure you stay tuned for our next adventure. Make sure you like, make sure you leave comments. Have you been to Mahogany Bay? What did you think? How was your experience in Mahogany Bay? And also we are, I think 40 people away from 2000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that little subscribe button, help us get to 2000 and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, and before you go, it's this guy's birthday. Make sure everybody says happy birthday, Charles. It's Charles' fifth birthday today. Okay, bye guys.